Hi, so this is going to be kind of weird and kind of a first for me, but I decided, hey, why don't why don't I like pull out my my camera and record myself when I'm dead tired at the end of the day because uh I seem to always have so much energy and people might think, "Oh, she must be energetic like that all the time." And but no, I'm really really not. Um so today, what did I do today? Oh, zoom out. Hello. Uh, still wearing the same shirt. <laughs> I like to buy oversized shirts because um, I don't sweat that much except under my arms. And oversized shirts do not touch under my arms. So we're all good. I smell fabulous right now. Um, yeah, so what I did today... What did I do? Oh gosh, I did a lot. Uh, well, this morning, I did a lot of research into some of the meds I'm looking to taking, and then I made a phone call. I called my pharmacist to ask a bajillion questions about the meds to make sure I, I am going to do it right. I still haven't started. I'm going to tomorrow. Um, but, uh, so the phone call, phone calls knock out a lot of my energy usually so I have to like plan if I want to feel semi energetic at the end of the day I have to make sure that the phone call and maybe one other thing is all I do that day today I did like three big things phone call and then I went to the food pantry and I got food and the food pantry is just really noisy and busy but I can handle it a whole lot better than I did at first because now I'm used to it. I know the process. They had different parking this time apparently, so that was new. But other other than that, um, hey, I just realized I have a fil lens filter on here. You know, I'm not... Oh, wow, that's so much brighter. That looks a lot better. I'm not going to bother to re-record because I'm just too tired to just say whatever I just said. So... But, um, let's see, so I went to the food pantry and came back and put all the food away, and, which is actually a lot more than if you just go to the grocery store, because all the, a lot of food pantry stuff is, like, gonna expire, and you've gotta put that stuff in the freezer, and you gotta, like, you know, vegetables, gotta blanch the vegetables, and put them in the freezer, and you gotta, there's a process for freezing different things to make sure they don't get screwed up, so... Uh, I did that, and then after that, my mom called and was like, "Hey, you wanna, um, wanna go out for a pizza with the family?" And it's like, "Oh, sure." You know, we do stuff like that every once in a while, and it's a special occasion because uh, some extended family is here right now, and so we went for pizza, and uh, that was fun. I've noticed something though that this could be some of my natural supplements that I'm taking because some of them they actually. I don't know how to put it. It's almost like it kind of dulls some of the sensory stuff coming at me. And yet, at the same time, it doesn't really change how tired I am after experiencing it. So, um, I was, when I was there, I didn't even really feel the need to listen to music or anything. Because it's like everything sounded pleasantly quiet for some reason. Um, and again, it wasn't very busy, so that might have been part of it too. Uh, I felt actually really happy. And then, um, let's see. I got home, and I'm like, I want to make ice cream, because I have an ice cream maker. And at the back of my head, I'm like, no, Alyssa, you've done three major things today. And they're gonna, and you, like, I feel my energy meter going down. It's like, but I really want to make ice cream. I've been wanting to do this forever. And so I go and I try and find my ice cream maker. And I found everything except for the metal canister that goes in the middle. And so I'm trying to look around for my metal canister and <sighs> looking for things is like one of my big anxiety triggers. Like, I'm good at looking for things. Don't get me wrong, but to have to look for something is very anxiety inducing for me so I make sure I keep things in the same place for the most part but for some reason I couldn't find it and so I just got tireder and tireder said a word and uh, so now here I am laying in bed and normally I am 
a determined person. Um, like, if I'm dead freaking tired, I'll still try to work. Which is usually a mistake, and I realize that, and today I'm like, you know what, I'm actually gonna lay down on my bed because I'm getting dizzy. Like, I get, when I get, um, this fatigued, I get really, really, like, dizzy, and, uh, I feel weird, and I can't think straight. So I'm like, I'm just gonna lay down. So if you're wondering why I can still talk, though, and this is one thing I always have to emphasize about me, and there are some other people on the spectrum that are very verbal, like I am, um, I can still talk just fine. It doesn't take much energy for me to give output, verbal output. Uh, but I probably wouldn't want to have a conversation right now with you or with anyone <laughs> because uh, I would have to process everything and I've already processed an awful lot today so I can talk which actually kind of helps especially if I've had a long day I like I like to talk a little so this is sort of almost like journaling for me video journaling I guess but you guys get to like listen to me ranting <laughs> which I apologize for that but if you get something out of it that's good uh, so I guess I decided to do this because um, kind of like my last video I just want to show hey I'm not perfect I'm not like super happy smiley I can still be articulate, but I probably sound drunk right now, or just really tired. Um, after this, I'm probably gonna conk out for like at least 10 minutes and then probably get jump out of bed and then get right back to work, <laughs> if I can. Uh, but yeah, at the end of the day, um, I get so tired that I, like, I, during the day, I'm, it's better for me to plan just two major activities usually, like a phone call and going out somewhere or um, doing a big project and cooking one really simple meal or something. Uh, it really depends on my energy levels in the day. So I don't know if you've ever heard of the spoon theory which is something people in the disability community use and um, those on the autism spectrum as well because I mean you can argue yeah autism is a neurotype and not necessarily a disability but we still have a lot less energy than the average person because of uh, how we process stimuli so um, the spoon theory is basically you have a set number of spoons which is like representing your energy and um, let's say for someone with disability they kind of, they kind of have to they have to really be careful about planning their day and make sure they have enough spoons to get through the day so there will be let's say uh, let's say I'm gonna cook that might take two spoons let's say I got ten spoons total if I want to cook something actually that's probably more like three or four spoons depending on what I'm doing batch cooking is four spoons right there uh, so let's say I decide to do batch cooking, so then that means I have six spoons left, so I don't have that many fingers right now, I'm using the other hand to hold the camera. Uh, so let's say I have six spoons left, I can use maybe two for a phone call, that leaves me with four spoons, uh, one for eating lunch, one for taking a nap, so that's two more. Two, two more spoons, right? Two spoons left for just from all that stuff. So eating, taking a nap, and then uh, getting ready for bed would be two spoons. It sounds crazy, but I have such a hard time and a lot of anxiety going to bed, so that's very like hard to do. So in that whole day, I would have batch cooked, ate lunch, um... So one meal. I do skip meals sometimes to save energy, which is kind of counter, it probably sounds counterproductive, but to actually like put the food together, even just to put it in the microwave might take some energy. So let's see, batch cooking, eating lunch, napping, um, making a phone call, and getting ready for bed. So that would be like one day for me, and that would be all of my spoons. <laughs> Um, every day is different. Sometimes I might have 15 spoons. Sometimes, um, especially when I'm having a lot of anxiety or hormones are going crazy because, you know, I'm a lady. Uh, 
Uh, sometimes I could have eight spoons, even as little as five on the worst days. So, but yeah, that's a spoon theory. I hope it's helpful. Some people say it's useful. Some people say it's not. It really depends on the person. I'm going to stop ranting now, though. Um, and, uh, I don't know what else to say. Have a good night, I guess. Don't die and have dreams. Lots of dreams about ice cream because ice cream is the best. Bye.